Hadic Hadian, was a non-Indo-European agglutinative language spoken by the Hashans in Asia Minor between the 3rd and the 2nd millennia BC. Scholars call the language Hadic to distinguish it from Hittite, the Indo-European language of the Hittite Empire, the form Hittite in English originally comes from Biblical Heth, quite possibly connected to common Assyrian and Egyptian designations of land of the Hadi, Kati, west of the Euphrates. It is unknown what the native speakers of Hadili called their own language. The heartland of the oldest attested language of Anatolia, before the arrival of Hittite speakers, ranged from Hattusa, then called Hattus, northward to Nuruk. Other cities mentioned in Hattic include Tuhumiara and Tisarulia. Hittite speakers conquered Hattus from Kanish to its south in the 18th century BC. They eventually absorbed or replaced the Hattic speakers Hashans, but retained the name Hatti for the region. Corpus No document has been found in which native Hattic speakers wrote their own language. Scholars must rely on indirect sources or mentions by their neighbors and successors, the Nesili speaking Hittites. Some Hattic words can be found in religious tablets of Hittite priests that date from the 14th and the 13th centuries BC. The passage is contained, between the lines of the text signs, the explanation. The priest is now speaking in Hattic. Roots of Hattic words can also be found in the names of mountains, rivers, cities and gods. Other Hattic words can be found in some mythological texts. The most important of these is the myth. The moon god who fell from the sky written in both Haddock and Hittite. All published Haddock documents are catalogued in the Catalogue des Textes Hittites CTH. Documents from Hattusa span CTH 725 to 745. Of these CTH 728, 729, 731, 733, and 736 are Haddock, Hittite bilinguals. CTH 737 is a Haddock incantation for the festival at Nurik. One key, if fragmentary, bilingual is the story of the moon god who fell from the sky. There are additional Haddock texts in Sapanua, which had not been published as of 2004. The conservative view that Haddock is a language isolate, different from neighboring Indo-European and Semitic languages, is based on toponyms and personal names. Haddock, however, may have been related to the otherwise unattested Kaskian language. Certain similarities between Haddock and both Northwest such as Abkhaz and South Caucasian Kartvelian, languages have led to proposals by some scholars about the possibility of a linguistic block from central Anatolia to the Caucasus. According to Alexei Cassian, there are also possible lexical correspondences between Haddock and Yenisean languages, as well as Barushovsky language, for instance. Tongue is Aleph in Haddock and Alup in Kot. Moon is Kap in Haddock and Kip in Ket. Mountain is Zs in Haddock and Cheese in Barushovsky. Compare also with asterisk Cs, a proto yenisean word for stone. Vocabulary Known words include Aleph equals Tongue Ashif equals God. F.A. Zari equals humankind, population. Fell equals house. Asterisk find you equals wine. Found in the compound find you karam. Wine ladle. Fur equals land. Faroon cat equals king of the land. The Haddock war god. Faru Simu equals Haddock Sun Goddess Hanfasut equals Haddock Throne Goddess Hilamar equals Temple Kasku equals the Haddock Moon God Kat equals King Nephas equals To Sit Pinu equals Child Zari equals mortal. Z equals to put. Grammar Haddock formed conventional plurals with a la prefix. 
children equals Lapinu. It formed a collective plural by attaching the prefix fa, fa shaf, gods. The genitive case, which means of, in English, was declined with the suffix u, n, fur, land, but furun, of the land. While some linguists like Polome and Winter have claimed the accusative case was marked with s, giving the example of s alep, word, that has been identified as a pronominal clitic, meaning there, by others. References Sources External links A detailed description by Igor Diakonov in Russian Haddock Grammar by A.S. Cassian, in Russian